Emotions running high in the ballroom last night. The tears were flowing, and it didn't help that Mr. T got the boot either. I know, not a dry eye in any house in America. Celebs opened up like never before about the hardest and most difficult times in their lives. Kelty was there for tonight's number one tracking story, Inside the Star's most memorable year. I had six miscarriages in eight years. Six? Yeah. Oh my God. So it was, it was really hard, actually. It's something you can't control. The power of family. Whether it be finding it, creating it, or keeping it, it was a tear-filled, passionate night of dance for the top-scoring athletes. I wanted to say to my kids through this dance, never give up, keep trying. For Nancy Kerrigan, the journey to motherhood did not come without devastating setbacks. Breaking down in tears, she revealed her struggles with multiple miscarriages after the stress-free birth of now 19-year-old son, Matthew. It was like, almost felt shameful i think like because i couldn't do it on my own <laughs> and i think that shame can cause more stress which can cause more miscarriages turning to in vitro fertilization she welcomed now 11 year old brian and eight year old nicole nancy told me after last night's 33 point routine the two youngest never knew how they came to be they know i had a bunch of miscarriages but they the two young ones they don't know i did um in vitro, so that'll be interesting to hear. What does this all mean? 2006 is my most memorable year because that's when I began to realize what unconditional love means. Unconditionally, Dedicating last night's number one 39-point dance to his father, there was not a dry eye in the house as Rashad Jennings recounted their story. My dad was closed off when I was younger. Anytime you try to get closer to him, he would turn to alcohol. It made me feel alone, especially as a kid, because you don't know any better. The two drifted apart until college when Rashad received a call from his mom that changed everything. She says, you know your father has stroke and diabetes. He's going to have to get his leg amputated. Rashad immediately put his college football career on hold and moved home. He want to do this for his dad. He always told you, you don't have the legs, and he's going to use his for you. It looked like you might not stop hugging your dad. Was it hard to pull away in that moment? It was, it was, and because I felt him crying. And that, yeah, I'm crying. I was like, hold on, we live. I gotta I got go, I gotta go. <laughs> also hugging her dad immediately after performing, Simone Biles. Her story of adoption led to the second highest score of the night, 36. At three years old, I was placed in foster care. Whenever we had visits with my grandpa, I was so excited. I didn't want the kids in foster care. I just said, send them to me. On the flight home, Simone just kept smiling away. I just looked at her and said, you're not going to steal my heart. She did. She did. How do you get through a dance like that when there's so much emotion going? Um, muscle memory. <laughs> I've never heard my dad say stuff like that. So all together, it's just like a ball of emotion.